Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do videos on luxury handbags, shoes, shopping, and occasionally travel. So if those are topics that interest you, please consider subscribing to this channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. So a few months ago, I released an unboxing video where I unboxed this clutch right here, and I also compared it to some other clutches from YSL, specifically the Uptown Pouch and the Wallet on Chain, and I went through all of the different bags. I'll go ahead and link it above if you're interested in viewing that video, but I compared them. I did a what fits inside, and then I compared the pricing, and pretty much, in my opinion, this is the best value out of the Wallet on Chain, the Uptown Pouch and this little clutch right here. And I shared how you could convert this bag into a wallet on chain for half of the price of the actual YSL wallet on chain. And I got a lot of messages from you guys asking me how exactly I do this. And I do this in a couple of different ways. So I just wanted to make this video to show you how I go about doing that. And I also wanted to share some other pouches and clutches that you can convert into a crossbody. And it's a really great way to get into a designer bag but save money if you don't really want to spend the money for the wallet on chain. Some of these wallet on chains, especially wallet on chains like Chanel, are super expensive. So let's dive right in and I'll show you how it's done. So there are a couple of ways that I do this, and the first one is going to be the fastest way that you can convert your pouch into a walk, and that is by ordering a chain from Amazon. Now here is the chain. It comes in a few different colors and drop lengths. I believe this is the 47 inch drop length. I'll go ahead and link it down below so that you guys have the exact one that I bought, but this is about seven or eight dollars. It's super inexpensive. It's quite similar to the chain from the actual wallet on a chain. So as you guys can see, this is the Amazon chain and then this is the chain from the YSL wallet on a chain. The wallet on a chain, I will be honest, is going to be a lot nicer than the one from Amazon. You can definitely tell the quality difference but if you're looking from afar and you want to have sort of like a dupe it's a great dupe and I don't think it's something that people will really notice unless they have the two of them side by side so this is them again now the way that I would strap this around the pouch is one of two ways so first I would remove this little wristlet portion which comes off super easy. It's just attached to a D-ring right here. And then next what I would do is I would take the lobster claw of the Amazon chain and attach it to the D-ring right here like so. And then what you can do is just underneath the flap of the bag, take the chain and loop it around like so. And then what I do is I take the other lobster claw and I will normally just link it onto one of these D-rings sort of over here so that it stays hidden underneath the chain. And you can also do this to adjust the length of the chain if you want it to be a little bit longer or shorter. If, say you want like a shoulder bag or something, you can easily pick the length that you want to suit your needs. I'm just going to do that off camera because it's a little hard to do it one-handed. And so here's what it looks like just underneath there and then you can close the bag like so and you will have the wallet on the chain and then here's the wallet on the chain with just the chain from Amazon again this chain was like seven or eight dollars so it's not an expensive chain at all it's the most affordable way to turn your clutch into a crossbody you can also use this for another pouch for example I have the uptown pouch and I could do the same the only difference is the uptown pouch does not have a d-ring so the d-ring is kind of helpful because it does secure the chain if you just have it under the flap like a lot of people do you do run the risk of the bag falling off but I will go ahead and show you the uptown pouch just in case anyone is interested so again here's the uptown pouch and what I did is I just took the chain and I clasped the two lobster claws together and then what I'll go ahead and do is open up the flap and I'll just loop this underneath the flap like so and then you can close the bag and then here you have a uptown pouch with a chain to make it crossbody and one of the things about the uptown pouch though is again there is no d-ring so if you open it it's just going to fall right off like that sometimes it will stick to the magnet so if you're lucky it could stick to the magnet and you might not lose it but yeah the uptown pouch is not the best for just using the chain like this I think the pouch that I showed you guys the monogram clutch is a lot better if you're only going to use a chain 
but there are inserts for both of these bags. In fact, YSL has a lot of pouches and a lot of different companies and sellers make inserts to turn them into crossbody bags. So let me show you the one that I purchased for my YSL clutch. So here is the insert that I purchased for my YSL monogram clutch. I selected this in a color that's very similar to the color of my bag. I bought this from a seller on Etsy and this seller specializes I think in pretty much making these and she basically has some for every pouch and every different bag. I'll go ahead and link this one below again but in order to use this one it's pretty simple. All you do is you open the pouch like so and then you just slip it in to the back of the bag or the front wherever is easier for you and then you can attach the D-rings to the loops that are here. So once you insert it, it just looks like that and here are the rings that you can insert the lobster claws and then of course this also opens up there is a pocket here and then there's a zip pocket as well in the back so let me just go ahead and attach the chain and it's quite simple it's just a little hard to do it one-handed to show you guys on camera but it's the exact same chain. So I had already bought this chain from Amazon myself. And when I went to buy the inserts, a lot of the inserts actually use this chain from Amazon. So I already had it. So there's two options. You can either buy the insert with the chain or you can buy just the insert. So that's what I did. I just bought the insert. And here you go. As you can see, let me pull it up so you guys can see. It's attached to these rings at the top of the insert. Let me just tuck that back in. And then you can just close the bag and here you have your little wallet on chain. So I think the insert is honestly the best option, the best way to go. As I mentioned, there are several different companies that do inserts. Like I think there's Dress Up Your Purse, Samorga. There's tons of different options on Etsy. I've even seen options on Amazon. I'll link the one that I bought. I like it a lot. It does take a while to get it. Once I ordered it, it took a few weeks to arrive and that's because it came from Italy. But I've experienced similar shipping times from other sellers that do inserts for bags. I got something from Samorga and I think it comes from Korea so it took about two months for it to arrive here in the States. So it is kind of to be expected that a lot of these insert designers, a lot of these people are overseas so if you are you know, in a country like the United States, maybe the UK, it might take a little bit longer to get to you than you might otherwise like. The chain from Amazon, I believe it was a Prime product, so I got this in like two days. So if you are thinking of ordering an insert but you want to use your bag and you want sort of like a temporary solution, I highly recommend buying the chain. Again, it's really inexpensive and as you can see, it's not the best workaround for the wallet on the chain, but it does work. And I think even if you wanted to not buy the insert, you could make it work with just the chain. I just think the insert makes it more comfortable and easier because it's not something that's going to be falling out of your bag and sliding around and kind of making it obvious that this isn't actually a wallet on chain. So again, those are the two ways that I convert my YSL monogram clutch into a wallet on a chain. And again, this retails for $745. This retails for $8. So you're getting a wallet on a chain for half the price than the actual YSL wallet on a chain. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm going to leave you guys with some other pouches, clutches that I think are great options from other designers that you can do this with as well. I'll link all of those bags in the description box below as well as their corresponding inserts. And if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget that I am still having my 1000 subscriber giveaway. It's open until August 22nd, 2022. I'll link that video up above if you're interested in finding out how you can enter the giveaway for a YSL card holder. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.